Hey everybody, my name is Connie Knox. I am here to help you go further, faster, but factually with your family research. I just returned from the North Carolina Genealogical Society Fall Conference. And while I was there, I met a gal named Sharon Gable, and she is working on a Bible project for the society where she is scanning Bible pages and they are seeking Bible pages to put into a book. So I asked her to tell me about it. This is what she had to say. We're going to create a book of the Bible records for NCGS. This not only preserves the records, it also allows other people to see what you've got tucked away in a closet. This is the second volume that NCGS has done. The last one was done in 2009, and they brought a Xerox machine in in order to do it, because that's where the technology was at the time. But we're able to take it with a camera and capture all of these images along with the information about the person so that we can contact them in case there's some handwriting we can't read. And hopefully next year, in 2020, we'll be able to publish this. It depends on how much response we get. We'll so, all... so not only are you photographing them, but you're indexing them? Well, once we type them, because we're not putting the original images into the book, we'll, we'll type them. We'll index them, um, and then we'll publish the book. And yes, it will be indexed not only by the name of the individual, but also by the county. If the people provide county about this person was in Johnston County, we'll be able to index it that way as well, so that somebody who's got some ancestors in Johnston County can look and hopefully get some information that might be related to them. So how far and wide are you doing this? Just North Carolina? Yes, because we're the North Carolina Genealogical Society. But North Carolina residents did not stay in North Carolina. So there are records from Texas where the people come out of North Carolina were interested in that as well. It's not just people who are physically living in North Carolina. And when do we expect this to be published? Hopefully next year. It depends on the type of response that we get and whether or not we get enough <laughs> records to produce a decent sized book because obviously one today? of the problems I'm is great. you've got to have enough or it's not economical to produce a book. If people have scanned copies of their Bible records already, can we send them in? Yes, ma'am. Email me. And where do we send them? Publications at ncgenealogy.org. Go on the website and you can find out all about us. We're on the Facebook page. That's how a lot of people found out that this was going on today. So. Sorry, email me and now you had already produced a book previously right the Is society the, here? the society produced a book in 2009 Chris Oakley was in charge of it at that time and is there anything else you'd like to add send your Bible records in we'll take and you can take images with your cell phone that works great you don't have to bring them in for me to do it because I live in Virginia <laughs> Well, there you have it, straight from the Genealogical Society. They are looking for North Carolina Bible records. If you know somebody or if you have them, make sure you contact them. There's information in the show notes below. And make sure that uh, you send yours in so that you're included as well. Also know that they have a previous book that they uh, have published, so there are some already. And I'll put information about that in the show notes as well. All right, until next time, have fun researching your family tree.